Welcome to Storyflix. In this video, we will explain flying colors. This movie tells the story of a girl who is on par academically to fourth grade elementary school students. Because she was often bullied and ridiculed, she finally decided to study hard to prove that she could enter a prestigious university. Can she prove her worth? Let's find out in Flying Colors. Flying Colors tells about the struggle of a girl named Kudu Sayaka in realizing her dream to continue her education at the most prestigious university in Tokyo. When she was an elementary school student, Sayaka was a child who had a closed personality and was very quiet. She is often the victim of bullying and has no friends, so she often changes schools. Sayaka is the eldest child and has a younger brother named Ryuta and a younger sister named Mayumi. Sayaka and Mayumi are very close to their mother, as the father pays more attention to Ryuta because he is the only son. One day, the little Sayaka sat looking at the white smoke in the sky. One of Sayaka's friends called out to her, asking her to pass the ball. But it turned out that they were just playing tricks on her and then bullied her by throwing the ball right at her head, causing Sayaka to fall to the ground. Hearing that her daughter had an incident at school, Sayaka's mother immediately rushed to school. She was then informed by Sayaka's homeroom teacher that her daughter was being bullied at school. Sayaka's mother thinks Sayaka may be reluctant to go to school because she is often bullied. Therefore, Sayaka was transferred from the school. But at her new school, she also has no friends and becomes increasingly introverted. Sayaka's mother then sent Sayaka to a private school, hoping that her daughter would no longer be a victim of bullying and could go to school like other children in general. While in her new class, suddenly three students pulled her and rolled Sayaka's skirt into a shorter one. The three girls then told her that she would look cuter if she slightly raised her skirt. Even the three girls also taught Sayaka how to dress up. Since then, Sayaka finally has friends and now she is no longer a gloomy and aloof girl. Now she can have fun with her friends and do many things she loves. Long story short, Sayaka and her three friends continued to be together until high school. But Sayaka and her friends didn't really care about the lesson because they were just busy dressing up and chatting. They even went to nightclubs more often than doing their homework until one day they were caught by one of their teachers, namely Mr. Nishimura, who caught them clubbing frequently. When entering her second year in high school, Mr. Nishimura found a pack of cigarettes in her bag. Sayaka was summoned to appear before the principal. Not wanting to tell anyone she smoked with, the school was finally forced to call her parents to come to school. Sayaka had to receive an indefinite suspension as punishment for the offense she had committed. She was then worried that she would not continue her education at university if she did not attend school. Realizing that her eldest daughter's future was in danger of being bleak, Sayaka's mother then went to a learning course and met a teacher named Mr. Tsubota. She told all the problems that Sayaka experienced at school and her difficulties in learning to Mr. Tsubota. When summer vacation arrived, Sayaka finally came to the learning course at her mother's request. To find out Sayaka's ability, Mr. Tsubota then asked her to do a short test. Because Sayaka never studied, she just took the test carelessly until in the end she couldn't get a score because her answers were all wrong. However, Mr. Tsubota is very confident and optimistic that Sayaka can change if she studies seriously and he is determined to guide her so that she can continue her education at the university she wants. But the problem is, Sayaka doesn't know which university she wants to go to in the future. Mr. Tsubota then suggested Sayaka choose Kyo University, one of the most prestigious in Japan. Under the guidance of Mr. Tsubota, Sayaka began to show progress in learning because he applied a fun way of learning and focused on exploring the best potential of each student who studied there so that the students felt comfortable and did not hesitate to express the problems they often faced. Mr. Tsubota will help and guide them wholeheartedly. At home, Sayaka's father even thought Sayaka had not progressed and thought that sending her to a course was a waste of money. But her mother still defends Sayaka and believes that she will be successfully accepted at Kyo University. Her father still doesn't care and thinks Sayaka is a failure in his family. Hearing her father's words, Sayaka became furious and more motivated to fulfill her desire to study at Kyo University. Both of them were then startled by a commotion outside the room where a young man Ryaiji was arguing with his mother who forced him to take tutoring at Mr. Tsubota. Ryaiji's mother pleaded with Mr. Tsubota to help his son Ryaiji get accepted into law school at one of the best universities in Japan. Mr. Tsubota then approached Ryaiji and praised him who was very good at playing games. 
Long story short, Sayaka who has now returned to school, gets a scolding from Mr. Nishimura because she was caught sleeping while class was still in progress. Mr. Nishimura told Sayaka to focus more on studying so that their school could be recommended to enter a certain university. Sayaka told him that there was no need because she was going to Kyo University. Hearing this, Mr. Nishimura and her classmates laughed at her. Mr. Nishimura was even willing to bet that Sayaka was successfully accepted into Kyo University, he would run around the school grounds completely naked. Sayaka then accepted Mr. Nishimura and became increasingly motivated to realize her desire to study at Kyo University. One night, Sayaka took the time to have fun with her friends. But she always carries a textbook and studies on the sidelines. Seeing this, the three friends then took Sayaka to a hot spring because they wanted to talk about something. They tell Sayaka not to force herself to hang out with them because they don't want Sayaka to fail to achieve her dreams because of them. Sayaka then felt sad. But the three friends then cheered for her and said they would always support her. Some time has passed Sayaka begins to show significant progress after the girl succeeds in making Mr. Tsubota was impressed by the essay she wrote. Mr. Tsubota then suggested that Sayaka watch the news on television or read the news in the newspaper and make a summary of the news to hone her essay writing skills. When she was excited to discuss the lesson with Mr. Tsubota, suddenly Sayaka's attitude changed slightly and she said goodbye for a while because she wasn't feeling well. Ryaiji and Mr. Tsubota were surprised because she had never been like that before. Sayaka then went to the roof of the building, alone there because she was getting tired. Not long after, Mr. Tsubota approached her and tried to motivate her with an egg, where he tried to make the egg stand up. Mr. Tsubota then said that nothing is impossible in this world with earnest intentions, strong determination, and hard work. Hearing this, Sayaka was again motivated and excited to study even harder to achieve her dream. The next day, Sayaka asked her friends to cut her hair short. Ryaiji and Mr. Tsubota didn't even recognize Sayaka because of her new appearance, with short hair and sports training attire. Sayaka's changes have inspired Ryaiji to change his appearance to be more presentable with black hair and glasses. Sayaka also praised him for looking more handsome. A few days later, Sayaka took the simulation exam, and when she got the results, she took her to the course to open it together with Mr. Tsubota. While evaluating the results of the simulation exam, Mr. Tsubota gave Sayaka three faculty choices, namely the Faculty of Letters at Kyo University, the Faculty of Linguistics at Kinki University, and the Faculty of Political Science at Kyo University. Although Sayaka's exam simulation results got a C score, Mr. Tsubota firmly believes that she will realize her dream if she studies hard because she still has two months to prepare. The day of the Kinki University entrance exam finally arrived. But due to a blizzard, Sayaka decided to go for a walk. Sayaka's father then took the initiative to take his daughter to the test site by car. Her father apologized for always ignoring Sayaka and underestimating her abilities during the trip. Sayaka finally arrived at the test site. But before getting out of the car, she told her father that he was a very nice person. Her father then got out of the car and shouted to encourage his daughter. Sayaka became even more excited about doing her exams. A few days later, Sayaka checked the Kinki University entrance exam results online and was overjoyed to find out that she had successfully passed the exam and was successfully accepted into Kinki University. Her family and Mr. Tsubota were also very happy to know this. Sayaka then met Mr. Tsubota and gave a letter to the teacher to express gratitude. Mr. Tsubota then handed a can of drink to Sayaka and encouraged her not to be nervous while taking the entrance exam at Kyo University. However, Sayaka had a stomachache in the middle of the exam, so she became unfocused because she had to go to the toilet. After the exam, she immediately returned to the inn because her body was very weak. Even so, she still forced herself to study to face the final exam. The next day, Sayaka felt better and did her exams with enthusiasm and confidence. While working on her essay, Sayaka thought of the people who had always underestimated her. She is determined to prove to them that she can fulfill her wish and is successfully accepted into the university of her choice. A few days later Sayaka called Mr. Tsubota and told him that she had failed the Keiko University Linguistics faculty entrance exam. Hearing that, Mr. Tsubota also felt sad, but she then cheered for Sayaka and asked her to wait for the announcement of the final exam results. Sayaka then took the time to have fun with her friends while waiting for the entrance exam results. While Mr. Tsubota is seen writing a letter to Sayaka. The next day, 
Sayaka checked the announcement of the entrance exam results with a feeling of hopelessness. She then closed her eyes for a moment before looking at the test results. After knowing the exam results, she rushed downstairs and met her mother with a sad face and tears in her eyes. After that, Sayaka rushed to meet Mr. Tsubota at the course, where Ryaiji and Mr. Tsubota had been waiting for her arrival with anxious anticipation. Seeing her teacher, Sayaka burst into tears and said that she passed the exam and was accepted into the political science faculty of Kyo University. Hearing this, Mr. Tsubota was very happy and burst into tears because Sayaka finally succeeded in realizing her dream. Likewise with Ryaiji who cheered for Sayaka's success. Sayaka's mother then met her husband at the workshop and told him about the results of Sayaka's exam. They then hugged tightly, dissolved in happiness. On the day of school graduation, Mr. Nishimura finally accepted his defeat. He kept his promise to run around the field completely naked. Towards the day of admission for new students at her campus, Sayaka is getting ready to go to Tokyo soon. While in her room, she looked at pictures of herself with her family and friends and reminisced about the good times. When he was about to say goodbye to her father, Sayaka then ran and climbed onto her father's back because he had not been carried like that for a long time and missed him very much. Sayaka then asked her father not to make her mother cry again. Her father then promised that he would not do it. While traveling on the train, Sayaka reads a letter from Mr. Tsubota and realizes that the teacher was there. She then waved at the teacher. From the bottom of her heart, Sayaka feels very grateful to Mr. Tsubota for changing her life, guiding her, never giving up on her, and always believing in herself, when many people out there underestimate her. On the other hand, Mr. Tsubota is also very proud of Sayaka and grateful to know Sayaka who never gives up and continues to fight for her dreams. Through this film, we are shown about the importance of struggling to achieve our dreams, especially when people around us often underestimate our abilities. Through the figure of Mr. Tsubota, we are taught to see and explore the best potential of our children or our students, because every child has a different potential, and we should not force our children or our students to realize our personal ambitions. Through the figure of Sayaka's mother, we are shown the love of a sincere and confident mother in her daughter's abilities and never gives up to continue to support her children. There are many moral messages from this film, one of which is the friendship of Sayaka and her friends.